let us begin with the discussion on communication. The word communication derived from the Latin root communus means common. This indicated that when we communicate, we are trying to establish commu commonness with someone through a message. Communication is a conscious attempt to establish simple meaning. It is a process of getting a source from the receiver turned together for a particular message or a series of messages. In fact, communication is so diverse concept that they attempt to create a generally accepted definition became so preferently involved and it hinders that helps in clarifying and understanding the subject. Thus communication covers a wide topic area. Any definition of your communication would be too general, too complex and too fragmented. We can explain various aspects of communication with definitions, but they would not be integrated. Different ways to define communication are as under. In this class, we are going to learn about nature and purpose of communication. What is communication, scope of communication, nature of communication and importance of communication. So let us begin with the discussion on communication. What is communication? Communication is about moving or passing something about, conveying or sending or delivering information is called communication. It is two-way process in which messages are transferred from source to the receiver. It is a conscious attempt to share information, ideas, attitudes and the like with others. Communication is a process of interaction. In a particular situation, two or more individuals interact. They try to influence the ideas, attitude, knowledge and behavior of each other. Communication sometimes has an impact and change occurs as a result of interaction. It impacts is due to information. One passes the gestures, expressions, language or expression and tone. Example, modulation. For effective communication, the communicator understands the target and the purpose of communication, the right person to receive it, the impact of terms of knowledge, attitudes and skills. Communication is a discriminatory response of an organism to stimulus. Communication is the process by which information and feelings are exchanged among individuals through common symbols, signs or behavior. Communication is a dynamic process, ongoing and ever-changing, which involves five major elements. The five elements are the message, sender, transmission medium, the receiver and the feedback. Communication is the process person attempt to transmit through ideas, wishes or emotions or others to be received, then it is a very same meaning. The majority of the explanations involve participation of the actor who are over the message or content, some sort of interaction by done commonly understood means with some effect. Analysis has shown that elements are involved in your communication. Since our major interest is to transfer technology, we can define communication as a process by which extension worker independently in a group or through a media exchange knowledge, attitude or skills on behalf of the organization with any members of forming community through such ways that each gains intellectual capacity, understanding and use of the message. This is not complete view of the process of communication but will provide our purpose. Communication is frequently thought as happening by means of verbal symbols, but socio-psychological analysis require that attention to be paid to full range of symbols that may be used of human beings, including gestures, tone, facial expressions, drum beats, telegraphic click, flags, smoke, signal, color, size, distance, sign or any signal. Experts say the communication is composed of different methods, words, voice, tone and non-verbal clues. Of this, some are more effective in delivering a message than others. According to research in a conversation or verbal exchange, words are 7% effective, tone of voice is 38% effective, non-verbal clues are 55% effective. Here, some of the elements of speaking, they are body language, voice quality, intention, manner, dress and clothing, visual aids and animation, eye contact, emotional contact, energy, strength, self-concept, concept of others, listening, hearing and underlying message, speaking from the heart, energy, setting, 
time place timing and how to messengers hold the message sensitivity rhythm and spacing attitude and confidence rapport agenda purpose of communication knowing what you want to communicate clarity and silent centering looking for effective communication the communicator understand the target and the purpose of communication the right person to receive it the impact of in terms of knowledge attitude and skills there are three levels of communication action information and relationship let me explain about relationship the important reasons for communication is to build relationship with other people through rapport building through verbal behavior vocal behavior example attending conference subject experts from different parts of india individual build rapport for academic purpose such as syllabus restructuring future expectations etc information building relationship leads to information sharing it is a shape of our thinking and it dynamic the communication is a matter of creating meaning out of that information the receiver should understand the right meaning of information how to create meaning by turning information to ideas action the reason for communication is promotion of action the key of effective action is not giving accurate information but persuasive ideas any idea in any thought that can be expressed in a sentence we have to find out the quality of an idea but how meaningful it is the purpose of communication is to create and share ideas scope of communication every communicative act is based on something that conveys meaning and that conveyance is the message the message may be either verbal or spoken or written or non verbal language physical appearance or vocal tone messages may also come from our context the place and time of the communication for instance if you choose to make a critical comment to someone the place and the time you choose to make the comment will make a big impact on how it will be received messages that are heard come through conversation interviews presentation telephones radio and other audio media sight and sound are the two most frequent communication channel used in our society when the receiver get the message through hearing feeling touching or smelling he or she will usually give feedback unconsciously or consciously thus the communication process is ongoing the worst assumption a sender of your message can make it as the message will received as intended so many things can go wrong during the communication process that we should always assume that something will go wrong and take steps to prevent the occurrence barriers to good communication are always present for instance the language itself can be a barrier unclear wordings slang jargon and tone another barrier is the failure of the sender to realize that his or her body language might contradict the spoken language the channel used to convey the message might be wrong in case if you would not use the telephone would not to write the message on paper poor listening skills can contribute the barrier also nature of communication deals with communication includes common understanding communication is not just passing on information or any message by one person to another or many people it involves common understanding between sender and receiver and the receiver of the message what communicator really wants to convey should be understood in the same structure meaning form outline experience and other characteristics of the message by the receiver is known as real communication communication is a process a process in any occurrence which illustrate a non stop change in time or any continuous action or treatment in this situation communication is a process in which the operation of communication is continuously changing as the communication process thus communication is not an intermittent but a continuous function of human beings prefer to connect in other words it can be said that it is a dynamic ongoing ever changing continuous act the components within the process work together each one affects the other in fact one cannot freeze communication at any point but must consider it is by product of interacting individuals a message from one individual creates a response from the other which then became a message for the first individual in a continuous process communication occurs many means 
communication is such a process which occurs by many means at many levels at many reasons with many people in many ways thus it does not true the only specific way or means it required to communicate any message communication engage interdependence the reciprocal mutual dependence or give and take process is known as interdependence communication is generally a two way process involving stimulus and response among response among organisms and hence it is both reciprocal and altering there is a constant exchange of role in communication as role change each takes of the function of the other communication thus involves an interdependent relationship between the participants on the other hand the level of interdependence may differ from circumstances to circumstance communication process contains a number of parts it is easiest form communication contains at least three parts examples expression interpretation and response several variables are concerned in each one part of the communication process communication occurs within contributors or participants communication take place within participants as well as between them in other words it can be said that one has to be part of process of communication to make it possible communication is determined by abilities and susceptibility of an individual to be active in the process fundamentally all communication is the process of managing and converting raw sensory data into fundamentally consumable or processable units of information communication take place at many levels there are least four different levels of point of focus from which communication may be visualized the level or interpersonal intrapersonal organization national and interorganizational communication communication take place without uttering words also all the time it is not necessary to empty words or spoken symbol to make process of communication possible it is observed that many times other than word symbols also make process of communication possible the symbols like gestures movement facial expression eyebrows lips arms tongue movements and many other ways are also used for communication communication has many varieties there are more than one ways to convey same content or message to other in a process of communication for example wish someone person can say namaskar good morning jai mata ji communication is essential to all human beings communication is essential for everybody from morning to evening we need to communicate any message to others without communication everything is difficult it makes everyone social responsible active progressive motivated interested dynamic and full of life fidelity varies from one communication situation to other ideal communication is important in an infrequent if ever achieved communication effectiveness differ from one situation to another timing is cr- critical however clearly expressed and well presented your message may be if it arrive at the wrong time you might as also not have bothered old news is often worse than no news consequently it is important to ensure that the channels you see really deliver at the time you need them purpose of communication purpose of any communication as defined by aristotle is a search of all available means of persuasion he clearly implied that the major ambition of communication is persuasion or conviction a school of thought during 7th century which was known as faculty of psychology made a clear distinction between the mind and the soul the mind soul duality and understood at the root for two independent purpose of communication our purpose was intellectual and the other emotional by this theory one purpose of communication was informative and appeal to the mind the second purpose was persuasive and appeal to the soul and emotions the third purpose was entertainment and it was argued with we could classify and intention of the communicator and supporting materials used within this categories Festinger in 1957 described the purpose of communication as consumentary and instrumental according to Berlow in 1916 the sole purpose of communication is to influence to affect with internet he says that all communication behavior has its purpose its goal 
as the production of the response. When we learn to phrase our purpose in terms of specific response, when we learn to phrase our purpose in terms of message, we have to take in the first step towards efficient and effective communication. Agriculture extension worker often forget that they are trying to affect farmers. They get too busy giving out information or reporting research. Berlow 1960 builds in this thesis on the contention that description of the purpose of communication should be in the terms of human behavior and consistence with the way in which people do communicate. However, some authors have made a communication distinction between the purpose of communication and that of mass communication. Other thought described by Sachin for the purpose of communication as an internet reward and delayed reward. He suggested that individuals are rewarded immediately on receiving or producing some kinds of message. Both of this consummative purpose. Composting music for self-satisfaction. As against this, the purpose of some communication could be instrumental. Example, the favorable response produced in an audience is instrumental in producing further behavior on its part. According to Laswell 1948 and Wright and Clapper have illustrated the aims and functions of mass communication as surveillance, interpretation and prescription transmission of culture and entertainment etc. Thus, Ebo explanation articulate that the purpose of communication ought to influence to affect with intent by creative comprehension, understands and perceived use of the message. To fulfill purpose, the approaches used could be informative, persuasive, entertaining or a combination of the same. Importance of communication Communication is essential to all human association because our society lives abounds communication. Communication is cement which holds our society together. People spend 78% of the active time for communication through listening, speaking, reading and writing. This reality shows great importance of communication in human life. We spend 10 to 11 hours in a day for verbal communication. It means there is a great importance of language in the process of communication. It helps in establishing relations with others by means of language. In rural India, nothing is important. The transfer of agriculture technology communication is essential for this. To overcome the ignorance poverty, to achieve socio-economic prosperity and progress, communication plays an important role. Detailed information regarding what, how, for whom, where of the new development programs can be disseminated by the way of communication. To solve the problem of the people by giving useful information on the solutions of the problems to the people is possible by communication. To bring physical, mental, social, economical and cultural changes in people, communication plays an important role. To improve level of agriculture knowledge, skill, attitude, adoption and understanding among the farmers, it plays an important role. Without communication, any development work is not possible. It has been considered as an important pillar for all-round development of any nation, farmers, it is needed. To send latest technology to the farmers, it is needed. For entertainment, communication is essential and in one word, it can be said that communication is life or exercise of any human organization and nation.